Hello everyone, Gemini 3 is Google's most advanced model so far with much better reasoning, stronger multimodal tools, a more reliable search layer, and the ability to produce interactive results that were not possible before. Today I'm showing you four amazing use cases showcasing what Gemini 3 can do. We'll build an interactive app from a data set, turn a long YouTube lecture into clean visuals, convert a dense research article into an interactive report, and create a learning simulation. All four workflows can be recreated in minutes. So let's get started. For our first use case, let's start with one of the features that really shows Gemini 3's analysis and visualization power, which is turning a data set into a fully interactive app. Gemini handles structured data extremely well. It understands patterns, relationships, and trends, and it can turn raw numbers into clean visuals that make the insights much easier to understand. So we'll begin by uploading our population data set. Then we'll add this prompt and select Canvas. Use this data set to build a clean and modern interactive population app. It should let me select countries, view population trends, explore the age structure, adjust projections with sliders, and switch into a comparison mode. So once the app is generated, this is what we get. At the top, you can choose your primary country and the secondary country, and the interface updates instantly. Just below that, the fertility rate, life expectancy, and urbanization percentages appear so you can easily compare the two. Further down, the comparative growth chart plots both countries on the same timeline. The colors match the top panels, which makes it easy to follow each line and see how the two countries move differently over time. Then Gemini adds two more panels. On the left, the age distribution chart shows the three major age groups side by side, giving you an immediate sense of how each population is structured. On the right, the economic and social section uses clean bars to compare indicators like GDP per capita and literacy, again making the contrasts easy to read at a glance. Overall, what Gemini produces here is more than just a set of charts. It gives you a clean, interactive dashboard that helps you understand your data set straight away. It's such a practical way to explore the story in your data and get immediate insights. For our second use case, we'll take a long YouTube lecture and turn it into clean, structured visuals. What's amazing about Gemini is that it can pull out detailed points from the video with timestamps and section headings, and then turn all of that into visuals. So let's copy this lecture, Richard Thaler on behavioral economics, past, present, and future. It's about one hour and 20 minutes long. Then we'll paste the link into Gemini and add this prompt. Give me the full detailed breakdown of this video showing the main concepts, learning points, and ideas. Once we run it, Gemini watches the entire lecture. It breaks it up into sections and pulls out every key idea, adds clear timestamps, and gives us the arguments, examples, and takeaways. Now that we have the breakdown, we can turn it into infographics. So let's add the prompt. Create a series of infographics that represent the insights in each main section, then select Create Images. And here's what Gemini comes back with, a full set of infographics that explain the main ideas of the lecture. The first infographic shows the core contrast between econs and real humans. You see the rational decision maker on one side and the person with real world biases on the other. It summarizes the opening argument in one image. Then you get an infographic on market mistakes and real world behavior, combining the key Key examples in a way that's easy to follow. It turns a long concept into a clear visual explanation. The next visual focuses on the policy applications, showing how small changes in the way choices are designed can completely change behavior. The layout makes the difference between complicated, high effort decisions and simple, helpful defaults very clear. There's also a visual on the future of the field, mapping how behavioral ideas apply to areas like healthcare, climate change, and inequality overall. What Gemini produces here is impressive. It takes a long academic lecture and turns it into clean, well-organized visuals that make the ideas easy to explain, easy to remember, and easy to use. For our third use case, we're taking a dense research article and turning it into an interactive report. So first we'll upload the article into Gemini, make sure we select Canvas, and then use this prompt. Turn the attached article into a well-formatted interactive report with visuals. And look at this output. Gemini restructures the entire paper, pulls out the key sections. We have the introduction page with the title, context, and a short summary of what the paper covers. Then Gemini breaks the article into clear sections. The lifespan changes tab turns long paragraphs into simple cards you can click through, cognitive changes, brain morphology, neuropathology, each one clearly explained. In the hallmarks of aging section, every biological process 
this becomes an expandable card. When you click on something like autophagy or mitochondrial dysfunction, it opens into a focused explanation with the mechanisms written clearly. One of the strongest parts is the interaction model. Instead of a dense figure buried in the article, Gemini rebuilds it as a visual flow. At the end, the conclusions and future directions page pulls together trials, future research paths in separate panels. Overall, Gemini transforms this complex scientific review into a structured interactive experience. For our fourth use case, we're building a learning simulation, and this time we're letting Gemini generate both the science and the visual model for us. So I'll start by entering this prompt. Give me the full process of how normal cells move through the stages of cancer, and Gemini returns a very clear step-by-step -step explanation, and it breaks the whole story into clear stages with short descriptions that are perfect for visual learning. Now that we have the process, we can turn it into an interactive app. So let's add this prompt. Create an interactive web app to show this process. And again, we click on Canvas. And here's what Gemini produces. It builds a full simulation that walks through each stage. The first screen shows a calm layer of healthy cells, neatly arranged and behaving normally. When we move to the next step, right in the center, one cell turns yellow. It stands out immediately against the normal cells, and it helps you see exactly where the process begins. Just below the visual, the panel switches to stage one, initiation, and Gemini lays out a short explanation of what's happening. The layout is really clear, with the stage title, a short description, and the Gemini Insights buttons for an analogy or a scientific fact. When we move to stage two, the visual changes again. The yellow cell starts dividing into a small orange cluster. Underneath the explanation updates to stage two, promotion. It summarizes what we're seeing. The timeline at the bottom also shifts color to show progress through the stages. In stage three, the cluster transforms into red, more irregular shapes. You can also see curved red lines representing new blood vessels forming. It gives you a clear sense of how the growth accelerates. Finally, in stage four, one of the purple cells breaks away and drops down toward the blood stream section. That movement shows the shedding cells that travel to new locations. Overall, the app mirrors each stage visually and textually. You always see the cell behavior on top and the biological explanation directly below it. This makes the whole process really easy to follow and understand. It's a great example of how Gemini can take a complex biological process, generate the full explanation, and then turn it into a visual learning tool that you can explore in seconds. So as we've seen in this video, there is so much you can do with Gemini 3 once you combine its analysis, visual, and interactive features. Across all four examples, you've seen how Gemini 3 can move from raw data to structured analysis and to visual explanations and even full interactive simulations in just a few steps. We worked with a data set, a long lecture, a dense research article, and a biological process. And in every case, Gemini turns something time-consuming into something clear, organized, and ready to use. The real value here is how quickly you can go from information to insight. Instead of spending hours gathering notes, building charts or designing layouts, Gemini gives you clean outputs you can explore, share, or build on straight away. If you want more practical workflows like these with prompts you can copy and try immediately, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.